Do you know what foods can help manage hypotension? Hypotension, or low blood pressure, is a condition that affects many people worldwide. While it may not seem as threatening as its counterpart, hypertension, it can significantly impact one's health if not managed properly. One of the most effective ways to manage hypotension is through a well-balanced diet. What we consume can have a significant impact on our blood pressure, either aiding in its regulation or potentially exacerbating the issue. From the salt in our pantry to the hydration we maintain, every element of our diet plays a role. Even caffeine, a common component in our lives, can be a double-edged sword when it comes to managing hypotension. And let's not forget about the power of protein. But with all these elements to consider, it's just as important to know what to avoid. Today, we'll be exploring the top foods to take and avoid for managing hypertension. First up on our list is salt. Salt, or sodium chloride, plays a vital role in the management of hypertension. It helps maintain blood pressure by retaining water in the body, which in turn increases blood volume. This process can help prevent your blood pressure from dropping too low. However, it's not just about piling on the salt. There's a balance to be struck. The recommended daily intake is around one teaspoon, which is equivalent to about five grams. This seems small, but it can be easily achieved with a balanced diet without resorting to over-salted meals. Remember though, while salt is a friend to those with hypotension, it can be a foe if consumed excessively. Overconsumption of salt can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, and kidney problems. So like with everything else in life, moderation is key. Remember, while salt is beneficial, excessive consumption can lead to other health issues. Next, it's time to talk about hydration. Now, when we talk about maintaining blood pressure, hydration plays a crucial role. You see, our bodies need a certain amount of fluid to function properly. When we're dehydrated, our blood volume can drop, which can lead to low blood pressure. This is why staying well hydrated is so important, especially for those managing hypertension. So, what are the best options for staying hydrated? Well, water is of course the top choice, it's readily available and free from additives. But other hydrating fluids can be beneficial too. Freshly squeezed juices full of vitamins and minerals are a great addition. And don't forget about broths. These savory liquids not only keep you hydrated, but also provide essential nutrients. Remember, keeping your body well hydrated isn't just about drinking when you're thirsty. It's about maintaining a consistent intake of fluids throughout the day. Staying well hydrated is a simple yet effective way to manage hypertension. Now let's touch on a controversial one, caffeine. To some it's the elixir of life, to others, an unnecessary stimulant. In the context of hypertension, caffeine can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can give a quick jolt to your blood pressure. It does so by stimulating the heart, causing it to pump blood more vigorously and thus, temporarily increasing blood pressure. However, it's important to note the word temporary here. The effects of caffeine are fleeting, often lasting just a few hours, and this is where the potential risks come in. Relying on caffeine for maintaining blood pressure can lead to excessive intake, which brings a whole host of other health concerns, from sleep disorders to heart palpitations. So, while it can be tempting to reach for that extra cup of joe when you're feeling lightheaded, remember moderation is key. Caffeine can be a quick fix, but it's not a long-term solution. Moving on, let's discuss the power of protein. It's not all about pumping iron at the gym. Protein plays a vital role in our daily life, especially when it comes to maintaining blood pressure. You see, protein-rich foods help in increasing blood volume, which in turn helps in maintaining a healthy blood pressure level. Now you might be wondering, where can you find these power-packed nutrients? Well, the list is quite extensive. You've got lean meats, such as chicken and turkey. Then there's fish, loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, another great source of protein. Let's not forget about eggs, a breakfast staple, and a protein powerhouse. Vegetarians, you're not left out. Foods like lentils, chickpeas, and tofu are rich in protein as well. Remember, it's all about balance. Including a good amount of protein in your diet can be beneficial for hypertension. So keep these foods in mind and let the power of protein work its magic. We've talked about foods to take, but what about foods to avoid? It's equally important to be aware of foods that can potentially lower your blood pressure even further. Let's delve into some of these. First up, alcohol. While a glass of red wine might be beneficial for those with high blood pressure, it's not the best option for those dealing with hypertension. Alcohol can cause your blood vessels to expand, which results in a drop in blood pressure. Over time, excessive alcohol consumption can also lead to heart problems. 
further complicating the issue. So, if you're someone who enjoys a tipple or two, it might be worth reconsidering your drinking habits. Next on our list is refined carbohydrates. These are found in foods like white bread pastries and sugary drinks. Refined carbs quickly convert into sugar in your body, leading to a rapid spike in your blood sugar levels. This is followed by an equally rapid drop, which can lead to a decrease in blood pressure. Over time, consuming large amounts of refined carbs can also lead to weight gain and other health issues, which are not helpful when you're trying to manage hypertension. Now let's talk about processed foods. These are typically high in sodium and low in nutritional value. While sodium can help raise blood pressure, too much of it can lead to dehydration, which is a big no-no for those with low blood pressure. Additionally, processed foods often lack essential nutrients like potassium and magnesium, which are important for maintaining a healthy blood pressure. Lastly, be mindful of certain medications and supplements. Some of these, like diuretics and certain types of antidepressants, can lower your blood pressure. If you're taking any medication, it's always a good idea to discuss this with your healthcare provider. In conclusion, while it's important to include beneficial foods in your diet, it's equally crucial to be aware of what to avoid. Foods like alcohol, refined carbohydrates, and processed foods can lower your blood pressure further and make managing hypotension more challenging. Avoiding these foods can be a big step towards managing your hypotension. Let's bring it all together now. We've taken a journey, uncovering the role of various foods and beverages in managing hypotension. Now let's stroll down memory lane and recap what we've learned. We began by understanding the importance of salt. Consuming an adequate amount of salt is crucial as it helps increase blood volume, which in turn raises blood pressure. But remember, balance is everything. Too much salt can lead to other health issues. Next, we dived into the world of hydration. Keeping your body well hydrated is key to maintaining a healthy blood pressure. Not just any fluid will do the job though. Opt for hydrating fluids like water, fruit juices, or herbal teas that can help increase your blood volume, and in turn, your blood pressure. Then, we explored the intriguing realm of caffeine, the double-edged sword. While it can provide a temporary spike in your blood pressure, it's not a long-term solution. So, enjoy your cup of joe or tea, but moderation is your best friend here. And let's not forget the power of protein. Our body needs protein to function well, and it's no different when it comes to managing hypotension. Foods rich in protein like lean meat, eggs, and legumes can help maintain a healthy blood pressure. On the flip side, we also talked about foods to avoid. Alcohol can lower blood pressure and so can refined carbohydrates. These foods may seem tempting, but they're not your allies in the fight against hypertension. But it's not just about what you eat or drink. A balanced diet is important, yes, but so is regular checkups. Keep a track of your blood pressure levels. Consult with your healthcare provider regularly and make necessary adjustments to your lifestyle. Remember, managing hypertension is not just about the right diet, but also about a healthy lifestyle. Stay healthy, stay aware.